pests can cause a lot of damage to crops and can lead to financial losses for farmers. In this video, we will discuss the different types of pests that affect crops, how to control pests, and the different types of pest control methods. Hi everyone, and welcome to Agriculture Central. Today, we're going to be talking about pest control. Pests can be a real problem for farmers, and they can cause a lot of damage to crops. In this video, we'll discuss the different types of pests that affect crops, how to control pests, and the different types of pest control methods. Types of Pests There are many different types of pests that can affect crops. Some of the most common pests include Insects Insects are the most common type of pest that affects crops. Some of the most common insect pests include beetles, grasshoppers, and moths. Insects can damage crops in a number of ways. They can eat the leaves, stems, or roots of plants. They can also spread diseases. Rodents Rodents are another common type of pest that can damage crops. Some of the most common rodent pests include rats and mice. Rodents can damage crops by eating the seeds or fruit. They can also gnaw on plant stems and roots. Birds Birds can also damage crops, especially if they are eating the seeds or fruit. Some of the most common bird pests include crows, pigeons, and sparrows. Birds can damage crops by pecking at the seeds or fruit. They can also spread diseases. Snails and slugs Snails and slugs can also damage crops, especially if they are eating the leaves or stems. Snails and slugs leave a slimy trail as they move, which can damage plants. They can also eat the leaves and stems of plants. How to control pests There are a number of ways to control pests. Some of the most common methods include Cultural control Cultural control methods involve changing the environment to make it less favorable for pests. Some examples of cultural control methods include rotating crops, removing weeds, and planting pest-resistant varieties of crops. Rotating crops helps to disrupt the life cycle of pests. Removing weeds helps to reduce the number of places where pests can hide and breed. Planting pest-resistant varieties of crops helps to reduce the damage that pests can cause. Chemical control Chemical control methods involve using pesticides to kill pests. Pesticides can be effective, but they can also be harmful to the environment and to human health. When using pesticides, it is important to follow the directions on the label carefully. Pesticides should only be used as a last resort. Biological control Biological control methods involve using natural predators or parasites to control pests. Biological control methods are often more environmentally friendly than chemical control methods. Some examples of biological control methods include releasing ladybugs to control aphids and releasing nematodes to control nematodes. Ladybugs eat aphids, which are a type of insect that can damage crops. There are two types of nematodes, parasitic nematodes and beneficial nematodes. Parasitic nematodes are pests that can damage plants and animals. Beneficial nematodes are predators that can kill parasitic nematodes. Integrated Pest Management IPM. IPM is a holistic approach to pest control that combines cultural, chemical, and biological control methods. IPM is designed to reduce the use of pesticides while still providing effective pest control. IPM involves monitoring pests and using the least disruptive control method possible. Conclusion Pests can be a real problem for farmers, but there are a number of ways to control them. By using a combination of cultural, chemical, biological, and IPM methods, farmers can protect their crops from pests and ensure a successful harvest. Thank you for watching, subscribe and get notified for next video.